you know, when you're out of the playoff situation, the only thing you have is your reputation. And the guys come out and they, they show the fact that they can compete and fight. Um, and that's something we didn't do in the Milwaukee game. And I was proud of the way they did. Everyone that stepped on the floor gave us something with fight and toughness. Kyle seems to be now getting more comfortable with Rudy and DeMar and his role and the play. You know, 13 and 10 again tonight. Are you pleased with what you've seen in the yeah, last okay, couple he weeks? Did, he did a solid job. We've got to execute better down the stretch. You know, we blew a 16 point lead, and uh, that's where you got to come down and make sure you run the show and get the right shots, right ball in the right position. But overall, he did a good job. And like I said, everyone competed, everyone played with a toughness, a sense of purpose. Uh, and a togetherness, and I was looking for that more than anything else. Did you get a look at what happened with the owners here at the end? He got, somehow when he reached down to get the ball, somebody snapped back and hit his neck. So I didn't, uh, you know, I don't know exactly who it was, but I just saw his neck him snap back. So I don't know exactly to what extent it was. We were watching the video out here. It might have been Rudy. Okay, it was Rudy. I, I didn't see who it was. I just saw him, you know, reaching for the ball and kind of one of those football plays. So. Again, I thought the young fella competed. He and Amir did a good job in the paint, fought, scrapped against one of the low, best low post scorer in the league right now, and Carlos Boozer. So, um, you know, they, that's, that team is a tough team to play against because they play with toughness, uh, resilience that uh, you've got to play for 48 or you're going to get embarrassed. He came through. He came through, made some shots, made some plays. Still got lost defensively, you know, but still he made some plays. He played basketball. He played with a bounce and a little edge that we've been looking for, and I was happy to see that. Well, so you, you got a lot of run tonight. He just seems to be getting more comfortable every night. Very much so. Toughness. He brings that toughness, and that's what we need. We need that toughness, that edge that Quincy plays for, plays with. Uh, he was battling Boozer in the paint, rebounding, hitting people, uh, and that's the way he's got to play, and we got to have that. It gives everybody else a little uh, uh, confidence to play that way, so that's important. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Coach. Yes, yes, ma'am. What were your expectations when you um, hired Valanchunas? Valanchunas, uh, that he was going to be a, one of the solid centers in the league. Um, he's a great young man, great hands, one of the top young centers that we have uh, in the NBA. Uh, he's going to be in the NBA a long time, just a very skilled player with good hands, good touch, um, you know, all around. Well, what is it that he needs to do to improve? Today he seemed a little slow to me, I don't know. Well, no, he, I thought he, he's going against one of the top, you know, power forwards in the league. Uh, he was guarding Boozer a lot. So, you know, I don't think he was slow. I thought he did a good job of rebounding. He got in foul trouble. I think that slowed him down more than anything else. But uh, I like the way he bounced and uh, how he competed in the paint.